Whoa. Look at the periscope. Ooh, boys. Come on out, you coward! Sometime after midnight on June 10th, 1912, a family of six and two visiting neighborhood girls were brutally murdered. 104 years later, this crime remains a mystery. No one has ever been convicted of the killings. Only an ax and very few clues were all that remained as morning dawned on this once bustling town. An event so horrific that even to this day, Scores of people still try to determine what exactly happened here and why. This is Old School Paranormal's investigation of the infamous Velisca Axe Murder House, Velisca, Iowa. We are on our way to Kansas City here. Eventually, Velisca, Kansas City. Hey guys, I got a little video here. We are here at Paracon 2016. Are we all pumped? The morning of the investigation was cool and damp. Being in a house with no electricity in early August in southwest Iowa, this weather was exactly what the doctor ordered. Beliska. Fliska bound. <laughs> yes. Looks like we're going to a Star Trek convention. <laughs> <laughs> Heading north out of Kansas City, the team traveled to Maryville, Missouri to meet up with one of Old School Paranormal's family members who had information to share with us prior to the investigation. He should know he's been in the house countless times and has had his own paranormal experiences in the infamous Axe Murder House. Late in the day, and it was in the, I don't know, late June, I think, or first part of July. And I was, I was working downstairs in the, the blue room where the Stones and girls were murdered. And I, basically, we'd done the room, and I was up on the ladder stenciling the border up around the ceiling. And, oh, well, there wasn't any electricity in there. We didn't have any lights. It was starting. It was, I don't know, probably 8:30 or so, starting to get dark, and I was up on the ladder, and it just got icy cold around me and I could feel something tugging on my pant leg, you know, and I was looking around, there's nobody there, and I, 
No, I really <laughs> would, didn't think much about it at the point, but I just know when I, I got off, put the lid back on the paint and went outside. I remember uh, we were working in that house and, it, and it, the, they had a plaster hired and they run him off. That was about the time there really wasn't much of the paranormal investigation going on on TV and stuff at that time. But I remember reading about uh, white noise and uh, EVPs, and I, so I had a little uh, digital. Well, no, it actually wasn't a digital. It was a just a regular cassette, cassette recorder mm -hmm. and player. And I took it in the house we were working, and we got ready to go to lunch. I was telling Darwin about it, so we. <laughs> took and started at the beginning and put it on record, you know, and when we left for lunch, we came back and I rewound it and all the way to the beginning. We hadn't been gone, I'll bet, a minute, and then I heard this, turn the volume up and said, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people in there that carry around a lot of guilt, religious guilt and junk and with them, you know, uh -huh. I don't have that. So I just got a real open mind. Yeah. The people that I've seen and friends of mine that, that had this, uh, I don't know how to explain it, they just feel guilty all the time because they're not perfect or not or stuff right. that they've done or whatever. Right. Yeah. Right. They just they're not they're not happy with themselves or their situation and they're the ones that get it upset. kind of intens intensifies their Right, mm -hmm. right. That's just what I've observed. And, you know, you can't make it happen. You right. just have to, have to be there, be aware. And, and you know, my advice to you guys is always have somebody in the house. Mm -hmm. And just just be roaming the house, feel it out, you know, all the time. And because when it happens, it happens just like that. Yeah. And uh, I know, listen for the trains coming through town. Seems like there's a correlation, especially you know you get after midnight to three in the morning with the trains. Do you um, notice like anything more like around two or three in the morning, <clears throat> like that time period? Well, you just never know. That's yes. why I'm saying. Okay. You know, don't all of you go outside for an hour and leave somebody gonna, in gonna, the house. Somebody's gonna, gonna, gonna miss something. Miss something. Right. Because you can. I mean, me. When the something was going on in the blue room, I'm in the next room. I could sense it. Yeah. I could just tell. You could just tell there's something going on. Everywhere. I think that uh, Stillinger girls, one of, at least one of the Stillinger girls, wasn't in bed at the time of the murders. So she was aware. But I think she went upstairs first and whacked, whacked the parents in the head and knocked them out. And then went right in that to the kids. And then just came back in. Everybody. And they probably weren't expecting the kids to be there. Right. And Harry Whipple's chief job was to make sure nobody gets out of that house. And the axe was outside in the coal pile, so. Yeah, that's where they got it, right? Yeah. yeah. But it was left in the cylinder room. Mm -hmm. room. So they were the last people to get it. Uh, yeah, but I think that the one cylinder girl was hiding in the closet. That's why there's so much. That now, did she have any defensive wounds? One I thought there, there was did. one one yes. person that had a, right. a one that defense. Was, yeah. That was the older girl. That was the older still. Yeah. That, that was yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Right. And they could have been awake and just froze, you know. Yeah, sure. Right. There, there's no way to go. There's nowhere to go up there. No. You'll see. No yeah, that's yeah, that's a small house. Places, and, yeah. and that's something else I noticed, too. That's a small house, and when things get hot in there, going. Like that house is closed. So do people and groups are they starting to leave stuff up there? They leave tons of stuff up there. And do most people, most paranormal groups, respect the visibility? They don't uh, try to degrade it or anything like that. They just oh well, well, yeah, pretty much. There's some nut jobs out there. Well, yeah, right. right. You know. Once in Velisca. The team stopped by the Presbyterian Church. This is where the family of Joe Moore and the Stillinger girls walked the three blocks home from late at night on June 9, 1912. They had just ended a children's program at the church at about 9.30 that evening. Because the street lamps weren't lit that night, the Stillinger girls were allowed to go home with the Moore family that night. 
Then, sometime after midnight, the Moore family, Joe the father, his wife Sarah, and their four children, Herman, age 11, Catherine, who was 10, Boyd, 7 years old, and Paul, who was just 5, along with the Stillinger girls, who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, 12-year-old Lena and her younger sister Ina, who was 8. They were all brutally murdered by an axe-wielding assailant who most likely was waiting in the attic of the Moore house for them to come home, waited until everyone fell asleep, and one by one carried out such a heinous crime that it took away headlines of the Titanic sinking two months earlier. Going to the Velisca Cemetery was a must prior to the overnight investigation. In the middle of this beautiful cemetery are the graves of the entire Moore family, along with Lena and Ina Stillinger, their parents, and a Stillinger infant who was stillborn just days after Lena and Ina were murdered. Three children lost in less than three days for Joe and Sarah Stillinger, which makes the entire situation even more sad. As we were paying our respects to those innocent lives lost, we couldn't help but think of how this crime could go unsolved for over 100 years and the injustice of those deaths on the Moore and Stillinger family so long ago. The investigation began to include not just the scientific side of paranormal investigating, but also help, in some small way, unravel this mystery that has plagued this small town of 2,000 residents. Our final stop before we headed to the Axe Murder House for the investigation was to visit the railroad tracks on the south end of Villisca, a mere eight blocks from the murder scene. In the early 20th century, 24 passenger trains would stop at the Villisca Depot, loading and unloading people coming and going from this once thriving train town. Not all those people were good, however. A common belief is that whoever murdered the Moore family and Stillinger girls was well aware of the train schedule and most likely committed the crimes as the train was blowing its whistle on its way through Villisca, covering up whatever noises the murders may have produced. Then made a quick getaway on the very next train through, never to be brought to justice for what they did. Children's room is up. I see the closet. <clears throat> At this point, nearly two hours into the investigation, 
We captured our first EVP, which almost sounds like a child singing. <laughs> A mere 60 seconds later. What was that? That was upstairs. That, uh, that was a That was huge. Yeah, it sounded like something fell on the floor, something got thrown on the floor or something, yeah. Or a door closed or opened. That was huge. The loud sound we heard seemed to have shook the entire house. It definitely came from somewhere upstairs, and no less than three of our audio recorders picked it up. After further investigation, no cameras had fallen over and nothing was out of place upstairs in the bedrooms and attic. We were never able to determine where the loud thud came from, but it wouldn't be the last time that sound was recorded during our investigation. Thank you for touching that device. Was that perhaps one of the children? If you touch that device again and make it light up, that's when I know the answer to my question. Was it one of the children that made that light up? Herman? Catherine? Light it up when I say your name. Boyd? Paul? Lena? Ina? So it wasn't one of the kids, okay. Josiah, was that you? Sarah, was that you? Yeah. Reverend Kelly? Okay, I'm starting to get weird feelings. Blackie? Yeah. Where are you? Where did you go?
Reverend, are you here with us tonight? Reverend Kelly? Reverend Kelly. Well, he was pretty close to that K2. Would that light it up? No. Light it up. No. Okay. His hand might. I mean, his body energy. I would touch these rods. Okay. There is energy right there. moved towards you. Can you walk away from it, Steve? Just to, because it moved with you. It's... This EVP was one of many Class A EVPs captured that night. This particular one sounds like whoever is speaking is right next to our audio recorder. pretty good boys because we've never been able to get that thing even go off ourselves. Oh, and the K2 was going off too. The same yeah. time. Old school paranormal believes that trigger objects do help increase paranormal activity. Period music that whoever still may be in the location is used frequently because they can relate to the music. If you want Steve to play some music, can you light up one of our devices? Either the device on the chair, or the rod here on the floor, or the K2 with the green. Did you like that song? Steve has more of those songs that he could play for you. But you're going to have to earn it. Hope we didn't scare you off. Steve wants to dance with you. Say, Sarah, may I have the pleasure of this dance? Who's got those? Extending my hand to you. You will have to lead. I don't know how to waltz. Come on, Scott needs a dance partner. Uh, I just had a flip on my K2 over here, guys. Just a flip. So is the whole family dancing? I think, I think we are having positive energy in this room. Sarah, please. Josiah, is it okay that Sarah and I dance to the song? Scott really wants to dance. I keep hearing what I think are thuds. I didn't hear thuds. Upstairs. Upstairs. Oh, there's some blue upstairs too. Did you come here to dance? Or just listen to the music? Anybody can come in here and dance. Children, adults. But not you, if you are the man who committed the horrific crime. No. You are not allowed oh, to dance. We had four, five on this. After Scott said that, there goes. So are you. Should you be allowed? I'm sorry. No. Are you the one who murdered the family? If you are, surely you don't think that you deserve to be out here dancing, enjoying the music. Do you hate it when the family is having fun, even after you cut them down? I just gotta chill. 
Not in that for me. <laughs> We're trying to get this family and the Stillinger. Oh, you see that? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. And the Stillinger girls, something they were robbed of 104 years ago. Let's go lit up again, boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then that you robbed them of. You robbed them of it. Blackie Mansfield, was that you? Reverend Kelly, were you part of this atrocity? Wow. I almost had to We do not want you in here. Josiah, Sarah, Herman, Catherine, Boyd, Paul, Lena and I, and you are invited in to listen to the music and to dance and to play and to have fun. If you're an evil person, you are not allowed. I think we should come down from that. What is that? Hell no. Oh, well, never went again to the red. I'm going like negative. To, I'm feeling negative energy. Well, uh, in my in opinion. What I felt wasn't negative. I didn't feel negative. It was just. Maybe it's just energy. It was. It was serious energy. It was. Yeah. Okay, that's that's probably what I'm feeling. Oh, and it was from head to toe. To me, yeah. it feels like these people want to. You know, they want to have fun. They're uh, us. Yes. We want to have fun. You know, they. They're but there's something using, in here. We, yeah. We mean even the, the murderer. We mean you no harm. But we do not want you to enjoy the music with us and the Moore family. But just because you're not allowed now doesn't mean that we won't communicate later. Do you understand that? Reverend Kelly, why are you here still? Is it because of the mirrors? We know you covered up the mirrors. As soon as Kevin mentions Reverend Kelly covering up the mirrors, which he was alleged to do after the murders, an audio recorder in the parlor picked up what sounds like piano notes. Interesting to note that no other recording device captured this sound. The slight voice you'll hear after Kevin is talking is a talking teddy bear in the blue room right next to the parlor. We know you covered up the mirrors. We know you covered up the mirrors. Got a train? No train. Yeah, I got a train. What have we had, like three or four so far? I really do think the old music. Do we have the kids' music? It's out. I forgot to bring it in here. Okay. I think the music did attract. I think it did. Yeah. Well, definitely. Want to find another song, maybe? Get out of your way. I don't know. You can bring the spirit box in sometimes. Too. I do have it. Oh, you have it. Do that if you guys want to. Or, yeah. We got it all night. That's true, yeah. Oh, As soon as you turn that on. Wow, uh, holy Moses. I, I told ya. Music. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Just don't stand in front of the camera. I guess you got a camera right there. Yeah. Is there any energy in this room? Not to the Whoa, music. dude. Yeah. Holy mother. Hi, who's here with us? All right here. Hey guys, look. Yep. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's, uh, it's on my body. Oh, there it is. That's awesome, guys. Can you line up the device on the chair too, please? Hey, look, it's a, it's a person. It's a, it is a person. Look, go up here. It's a person standing. Oh, they left. They moved right here. That I got it here too. It might be the family. Oh my God! Oh, like Steve. Okay. I might just take that out I've never seen one do that, ever. Look at that. You want to sit by the speaker, huh? The 
Look at that music. Good music. Oh my god, look at that. It just stopped. Okay. It just stopped, yeah. Can you light that up again, please? Yeah. Are you asking me to dance? Whoa! Let's dance, okay? Is this Lena? Sarah? Yep, yeah, look, but Lena, is that you? Ina? Sarah? Uh, Catherine? Reverend Kelly? Thank you. <laughs> Lena, that's you, isn't it? Okay, where'd you go? Where did you guys go? I want to dance. May I have the pleasure of dancing with you, fair maiden? Something you were robbed of. Yes. Hundred and four years ago. We are here for you. The Stillinger girls, just I don't know, I feel so bad for those two girls because just an innocent they just over. the wrong place at the wrong time. See I consistently get Two or three about right in here. It's close to the music, you think? And you're sure it's not your... Did you have to have Wi-Fi out? Yeah, he, he checked yeah I checked it. it. I mean, okay. Neil, you want to check yours against the two just to see if it's... I don't think it hit up nothing. solid. Nothing. Not even off the speaker. Uh-uh. Okay, and there's no electricity in this house. Correct. Right. Nope. Other than our extension cords. Right. Right. In the walls. right. And they're shielded, so. And there's no extension cords in this room. Well, just around the right. edge. Just around the edge, yeah. But. Well, we're not getting nothing from them anyway. They, they should be shielded. And they're, they're insulated, insulated enough. enough. Yeah. Yeah. You guys want to do the um, square box a little bit? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's want to give it a break? For a little bit and then uh, at least go somewhere in a different area. Yeah, I agree. So this is another way you can communicate with us. You can talk through this device. Can you let us know your name? Is there somebody with us tonight? Sound like a yeah to me. Yeah, that's a yes. 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 Yeah or yes. Yeah. Are you a male? So you're a female? Unbeknownst to us, we captured some very compelling footage of what appears to be an orb flying from the K2 on the table to the K2 in Neil's hand. Once that flight path is finished, you will see both K2s, some three to four feet apart, light up at the exact same time. While we are not big proponents of spirit orbs, every once in a while we come across footage like this that makes us take a step back and re-evaluate. Could this be a spirit orb? While we can't say a definitive yes, 
with the electricity in the parlor that night, we simply cannot rule out this being spirit orb footage. Me too. In there. Spiking up the red. Yeah. Go this way. Okay. Male. Male? So you're you're a male? Can you say yes if you're a male? Did you guys hear that? I'm not as yes. clear as any male. Yeah. Is it okay that we are here? No, I don't know. Yeah. How many are here with us? Eleven? I thought I heard ten. It doesn't matter, that's... I thought I heard eleven. If it's eleven, that's eight victims eight and that's three plus people. three eight people. Yeah. I guess four is that one than eight. When you waited for the family to come home after their children's program at the Presbyterian Church, Hi. Interesting because I was going to ask, did you know that Ina and Lena were with them when they came home and you were hiding? No, sir. Did you have to pull Lena and Ina out of the closet? Did you have to find them there? Hide? Hide. I heard hide. That's what I heard. Did you hide in the attic? Maybe. 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 That was pretty darn clear. Josiah, did FF Jones know you were sleeping with his daughter in law? What attracted you to the town whore? Thank you for answering the question honestly. Once again, our camera catches what appears to be another orb, this time flying directly at Neil, who is kneeled down in the doorway at the top of the screen. You'll see it come into view from Neil's left, the same direction that the previous spirit orb came from earlier in the investigation. Do you regret sleeping or having an affair with Donna Jones? Should we stop asking questions about Donna now? Stop. 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 Okay. Well, we've been going for how long? I need some water here shortly. Yeah, you nice. guys want to take a 15 minute? 10 minute? I, I yeah. think so. Yeah, I, I, just need, I need some water. Just a few seconds after the entire team left the house for a quick break, three audio recorders captured something very disturbing from inside the house. The thump you hear at the beginning of the following clips is the barn door shutting. The barn was where Command Central was located, and although not original to the property, it sits approximately 25 feet behind the house.
Nobody on the team made that sound, nor would even think of laughing or making any unusual noises like that because it would contaminate any evidence we hoped to catch while the house was simmering for our return. So you have that, um, that one time when that thing lit up in the chair, you felt it, I felt it across the room. Yeah, I was in the doorway there, yeah. Yeah. Steve uh, felt it too, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was all of us, pretty much, yeah. except for you. But you were on the other side of the room, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, right. Right, but I mean, God, the, your, your periscope, our K2s were just mm -hmm. yeah. going off the charts. Something. That's that, it's that periscope, I can't. I would love to see that thing light up, just like it did. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. Where, yeah. where it was kind of showing right where it was. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. After our break, we headed upstairs to the south bedroom where all four more children were murdered. Claims from this room include the closet door opening and closing on its own, the ghosts of the more children rolling balls across the floor, objects falling and even flying off of furniture, and countless EVPs captured in this room. Look, Trent, can you imagine trying to chop somebody with an axe? Yeah, even a five foot two. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I want to put this. Oh yeah, see this floor really shapes. Yeah. This is the original, huh? Yes. Arguably, this would have been the most horrific room to discover the morning after the 1912 murders. Because the ceiling is so low, it was nearly torn apart by the person swinging the axe at the more children that fateful night. Another train. Boy. Good. Herman, Catherine, Boyd, Paul. This is your room. Can you come out and play with some of your toys with us? Flash. Flash. We've got some neat toys for you to play with. You hear that train? Oh yeah, come out and f look at the train. Look out the window and find the train. Come out and play with the little device we have on the floor that's lit up, purple. You don't have to be afraid of us. We all have children too. We love playing with kids. We love kids. So we brought you some toys, so don't be afraid to come out and play with them. We're not here to harm you. We just want to acknowledge that you're here. We really do like kids. We would never harm a child like that coward or cowards who harms you. Paul, Boyd, Catherine, or Herman, did either of you wake up when the bad man or bad men who came in and took your lives? Were you awake at any time? Were you aware of what was going on at any time? back on June 10th, 1912. Sarah, is it okay if the kids come and play with us? Tag dog barking. Can you open the closet door?
Is it okay if we, one of us, comes into the closet with you? If it's okay, go ahead and open the door a little bit and we'll come in. We're not mean. We're very nice. Scott has children too. I do. And they like to play hide and go seek when they were little. Do you like to play hide and go seek? Open the door a little bit and just let us know that it's okay to come in and, and sit with you. Just a little bit. You don't have to open it all the way. I bet you're really good at playing hide and go seek, especially in this house. You probably know where all the best hiding places are, don't you? You and me, can I come in? You got a K2? Got yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the cabins. Okay. Here I come, okay? It's time to go on him. Yeah, you, you can close the door now if you want. Because Scott wants to hide too. Yeah. So go ahead and close it. Okay. Let's close the door. I think you should let them close the door. Are any of the more children in here with us tonight? One? One? I'm gonna turn up a little bit. Sound like a female. Yeah. Are either of the Stillinger girls here with us? Is there somebody preventing you from answering our questions? Somebody make this ball roll across the floor for us. Thank you. Who broke the window a couple of weeks ago? How'd that get broken? Accident. You know what it was? <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. Here comes the train again. Do you like the trains? What about the two young boys, Boyd and Paul? And Paul? Are either of you two boys here with us tonight? Yes. Sounds like a yes to me, yeah. yeah. We don't mean you any harm at all. We, we will not harm you. Would you like something from us? Your vibration detection just went off on that. Did it? Yeah. I just saw it. 
And you weren't moving, so. Yep. No, it's not moving. Is there somebody walking towards the room? Yeah, one of your lights lit up down below. Down below? Yes. Just once or just once? Mm -hmm. What did the murderer use to kill you? Nah, that's first something the first word that went through in my mind. Yeah, yeah me too. Is that coward that murdered you? Yeah. Here tonight? Who is the coward? Did the spirits of this house just call out their killer as Blackie Mansfield? We're just going to leave this stuff here for you to play with if you want to. You want your REM pod, Kevin? Kevin, I thought that... I thought you were in front of me. No. Why? Because I was following, like I was just following Kevin in here. What? I have been a shadow. Seriously? Yeah, I'm, th I'm serious. I thought I was following you. I know. Kevin was over here. Yeah, yeah I was back know. here. Serious? Well, that's what I was, then I heard your voice behind me. So like, what the heck? Wow, that was weird. That, I mean, I wasn't, yeah, I, I didn't see anything. I just had the Feeling that just, you're Yeah, me. I just like you was running right around the corner. So it felt like there was somebody already ahead of me, yeah. That's okay, that's <laughs> maybe, well, they came out, maybe they came <laughs> out <laughs> that, that was for maybe crazy. came out of the um the attic. Attic? Area. I don't know. Yeah, like Neil said though, the camera will capture it if that was the case. 